Okay, this is the 2021 Toyota Prius Prime in wind chill pearl uh, with black trim. Okay, we are going to talk about the driving modes and I'm going to call them uh, techniques, okay, where you can use the techniques to switch between electric, electric gas combination. Uh, uh, in various ways uh, using uh, the software programming for this vehicle and yes there's a software programmer in Tijuana drinking pina coladas because he went a little crazy uh, programming all sorts of different options for you that confuse the hell out of everybody including me uh, for how you can operate this vehicle uh, in various fuel electric combinations Okay, now I no, I wanted to get the sunlight on that. See, that's a this is a four hundred and four to five hundred dollar extra option to have that. It's kind of a metallic uh, glistening in that paint. I I don't like white. Okay, so I paid the extra money to get this wind chill uh, pearl, and boy, I really like it. Look at that. It just kind of sparkles. I, I hopefully you can kind of see that in the sunlight. See that sparkling. Okay, I know that this is about the drive modes and the techniques. I call them techniques. Toyota doesn't call them that. Because I want to distinguish between the drive modes and the uh, fuel electric uh, techniques that uh, have been programmed into this vehicle. But before we get into all of that, let's uh, just talk about the, uh, the battery system. Now, those of you driving Toyota Priuses, uh, you know that the battery in those, it's... Uh, well, it's just not that big, you know. Um, you, you're just using uh, basically a hybrid uh, combination between uh, a gas and electric. Uh, it's powering the vehicles to give you extra gas mileage, and uh, that's all you've got. Whereas with this, you've got the <laughs> this is boy, you got to see some photos of this thing. This is a monster battery. You can go 25 miles, what they call EV. Uh, the EV technique they call it EV mode. I called it the e using the electric EV Technique you can just go 25 miles just on that battery pack right there Which makes it an electric vehicle and you get the uh, four thousand five hundred dollar tax credit or you used to I don't know how long that's going to be in effect um, But this battery weighs a lot Okay, so to accommodate that and also it takes up a lot of your hatch room so that that might not appeal to you Maybe you just want to get the uh, the hybrid version of the Toyota Prius um, this hatch, uh, let's just talk about that real quick. This is carbon fiber. Uh, it's really light, so hopefully these uh, uh, lifters uh, will uh, last a lot longer than uh, one that has to raise a hatch that weighs a lot, like on a, an old Buick uh, minivan. <laughs> those hatches, uh, yeah, I bet you, could, you, could, you probably couldn't lift the hatch on those things, and uh, those lifters would go bad pretty quick. Uh, I know, because my mom had one, and I had to replace those lifters. Um, so uh, over here is your charging mechanism. Now let's uh, let's just get into why you want to to watch this video. Okay, uh, back in the day, and I'm just going to use a little quick analogy. We used to have horses, right? Now you bought a horse that was you, you had to take care of that horse because it was your transportation. Same with this. You're going to want to learn everything you can about this. Uh, now in a later video we're going to get into uh, how to take care of the battery, how to take care of the fuel system, um, the electrical uh, indoor requirements. That's all one video right now on my channel and just so you guys know I do go back and fix my videos. That video was way too long, it was like 40 minutes, nobody didn't know on earth is going to watch that whole video so I wanted to just do a quick one about the um, the driving modes and the uh, the techniques uh, the software techniques that uh, you know basically give you that fuel electric combination and uh, how you're going to want to uh, you know for your own personal needs how you're going to want to do that um, so a couple things I learned real quick uh, to open this hatch <laughs> <laughs> All the doors have to be unlocked because if you just unlock the front door that hatch won't open So uh, that was one thing that I learned today um, Let's just uh, here's another one. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure all the doors have to be closed uh, For this to, to work, but uh, you know videos don't have to just be about the one thing I'm just gonna get it going see that third button right there. That's the AC button I think you have to hold it down for a brief period of time. I'm got to get in the manual and uh, that should kick on the air conditioning and I'm just going to wait 
hopefully it's going to cut on now so so let's say i'm out hiking i can uh cut that air conditioner on sit out here and drink some water in my chair and let the car cool off you know suppose it's really really hot in there or in my garage you know you come out you're, you're eating breakfast you know you come out it'll only run 10 minutes and then it'll cut off uh hopefully you're just going to run it five because it does run off of the battery so you are draining that battery so let's just get in and uh, get started i don't want to i'm not going to wait the full five minutes but uh there we go door unlocked Whew, I'm feeling that cool air. See, it's working. Talk about the drive modes and the techniques. All right, so we're in here. First thing you got to do to start the car is push in on the brake. Uh, that's, you know, I hate these stupid safety features, you know, but that's okay. Whatever. And then push the power button. Now, if you look up here, see that ready? That means it's ready. It, we, are, we are good to go. Now, when the vehicle comes on, it defaults to EV mode. EV is electric mode. Uh, that means it's going to operate off of the battery that uh, you're going to want to charge uh, with your 120 volt. Uh, for it takes about five, five and a half hours. Uh, if you want to use 240, uh, which you know, who knows? You got 240 in your house, or if you're out driving, you might find 240. But you can see right here, it's just showing you the battery. Boy, that air conditioning feels good. Look at it, 94 degrees. Oh my God! Uh, by the way, I've been driving three weeks, and look at my fuel. <laughs> I haven't burned any, I, and I've been using the hybrid. You know, I've been trying to use the hybrid because I'm trying to. We're, we're going to get into taking care of the fuel. That's a different going to be a different video. Taking care of the battery and the fuel. All right. So, um, so the first thing. Uh, we're going to get into we're in ev mode i like i said it defaults to the most efficient mode possible which is ev mode um so let's uh let's just hit the the drive modes real quick okay rather than the techniques so drive modes by the way work with whatever technique you're going to use uh for your gas electric combination okay so right now we're in all electric so i'm going to hit drive mode boom and we went to normal okay normal just means that uh you're going to get a bit more acceleration. Uh, your air conditioning is going to be a bit cooler. Uh, it's not the car is not going to operate quite as uh, fuel efficiently as possible. But you know, if you're trying to get around town and get to work, uh, uh, this is probably the the mode that you're going to want to operate in. So watch this. If we cut the car off, this is this is the nice thing. Okay. So whatever mode you were last in, when you start the vehicle again, press the brake. Cut it on, so it it's going to start up in normal mode again. So whatever mode you're in, it starts back up. So if you just leave it in normal mode, uh, and that's where you want to be, you can do that. And uh, it just means you might get a few miles less to the gallon. Um, and uh, I think you're going to be a little more inclined in, in normal mode to cut over to the gasoline engine. All this is programmed, um, and, and we're going to get into why the, the, the techniques <laughs> don't make a lot of sense in, in some ways. The next uh, drive mode, by the way, remember left left hand button, drive mode, not technique. Uh, we're in what's called power mode. Okay, hey, let's say you live in uh, Newark, New Jersey, and you uh, or Washington D.C. or Atlanta, Georgia. Those are three places where uh, you got to be aggressive, man. You got to come down off that ramp. You got to show them who's boss. And I'm just going to get into my because uh, I, I I always love to tell funny stories. Okay, let's just uh, diverge here just one second. Everything can't be all serious about everything. Anyway, I had this guy. Uh, he worked for Digital Corporation. You, if you're a young buck, you don't even know who they were they went out of business you know IBM's still around that just tells you the date uh, they were competing together uh, the old PDP 11 I worked on that computer being that cybersecurity guy <laughs> aging myself back in the 70s so anyway uh, we got we went skiing in Vermont man and we're on our way back and we got to Newark New Jersey and uh, I mean this is the nicest guy you ever want to meet he just he was amazing you know let's show you it's still going on the battery man that air conditioning feels good and uh, oh my god it was like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, man. He got in there and he goes, he goes, oh man, you gotta show him who's boss. And he's doing this number. Hey, buddy, screw you, man, screw you. Get the hell out of my way. And he's, you know, when I'm sitting over in the passenger seat, you know, because I'm from the country originally, you know, before I moved to Washington D.C. and got to experience what it was like to live in a big city. So, you know, I'd never seen anybody act like this on the road. I mean, it was it was dangerous. And I'm thinking, man, he's he's, you know, I'm thinking one of these people are gonna pull out a gun and shoot us. Because, I mean, he was flipping everybody off and screaming at them and cussing at them. And they're cussing back. And I'd never seen anything. That's just how they drive in New York, man. Washington, D.C. is kind of the same way. Not quite as 
extreme as Newark and Atlanta Atlanta is just insane man you got motorcycles that come up between the cars and <laughs> I, I went through there one time there was five polyps I mean five major polyps it took me almost like eight hours to get through Atlanta I mean because all the roads were shut down there were so many accidents I mean those people are crazy in Atlanta all right, so uh, enough of that. Just kind of wanted to digress into a story to make these uh, these videos entertaining. All right, so we we've been through your three drive modes. That that that's your power mode. Uh, I wouldn't operate the vehicle in power mode um, for a long period of time. Uh, you might do damage. Now that I haven't read anything that says that you would, or or anything that says that you won't. And if we cut the car off, let's cut it off. And you would think that uh, Toyota, they're pretty good about the the, uh, the programmer down in Tijuana, uh, drinking pina coladas, because uh, he, he put all this in the software, that if you were going to damage the vehicle in some way, that it wouldn't come up in power mode. But let's just take a look. Power mode. See, it's still on. So I just, I'm just saying for fuel economy and everything, I would, I would keep it in normal and not put it in power just use power when you when you need it and you you want to flip everybody off and and, and get mad okay that's <laughs> that's what I, I don't think i'll ever use power mode but i'm I, maybe i will if i'm i because i stay the hell away from atlanta i go all the way around i go up through alabama to stay out of atlanta going on my way to virginia all right the other thing i didn't really cover with the modes is it's color coded so look at that normal's kind of a white uh you got the red to show you the power in the in the power mode and then you got uh, blue for the eco. All right. So, uh, and, and you noticed uh, it, it, right now we're in electric mode. Electric mode just means it's going to stay on that battery until that battery's discharged completely. Now, my understanding is uh, if, if, if you're really in a bad situation, it will cut over to the, uh, the gas to help it out. But I, I don't know that for sure because if you watch some of the videos, they say it's going to fight. It's going to fight like hell to stay in electric. So that brings us to our next mode or our next technique. Okay, okay. So this is your electric technique. Let's let's, let's stay on the battery for everything until the battery is drained. Get, uh, even your uh, ACs on electric. So now we're going to do the what I think is the most useless button. But uh, hey, it's called EV Auto. Uh, EV Auto just means that it's going to stay in electric mode as much as possible. Okay, which EV does. Like well, I guess it's just. A little bit less uh, uh, inclined to stay in electric mode on auto okay which means that it will cut over to the gas uh, if needed uh, if you're going up a big hill or you're over I guess electric might just sit there and strain and, and try to get up that hill and stay in electric and auto is just gonna give you that that extra boost with the gasoline engine you know do you are you really worried about it I don't know I mean that's that's up to you I I doubt I'll ever use EV auto uh, um, but uh, you know, if, if you're in a hilly city or uh, you, you gotta get you know get get that extra power from the gasoline engine, I guess you can you can use it here. And uh, for the most part, it's just going to stay in electric uh, electric mode anyway. Uh, now that might put a little less uh, strain or damage on the engine because if it's fighting to stay in that electric mode and it really needs that gasoline power in a situation, uh, EV Auto might be a little easier on the uh, on the. Um, techniques uh to, for that fuel electric combination that you that you need um now if you press that ev auto button again boom takes you right back to ev mode uh which means you're going to just stay in electric uh it is 100 percent of the time hopefully uh I, so now we're going to get into what i think is the most useful button which is or the tech most useful techniques which is the uh hv ev button in the middle there okay so when i press uh that hv ev button uh, we're in EV mode. Boom. The light goes off. You see right there? Uh, now, it would be nice if they would say HV. <laughs> but, uh, but so you got to know that when there's nothing up there and it's just an eco mode, uh, this that, that in the HV technique, okay, is what I prefer to call it, um, you're you're using it just like driving a Prius. You're, you've basically taken your Prius Prime and you turned it into a Prius because you're going to use a combination of gas and electric. And if you've got a good charge on the battery, 80% or more, uh, or even, set, well, 70, you know, anywhere up there, you're, you're looking at 133 miles to the gallon uh, operating in uh, HV mode here, or hybrid mode, or Prius mode, whichever, the three you want to call it, or Prius, the Prius technique. Let's call it the Prius technique. You're using the Prius technique at this point, the HV, okay? Um, 
So that's all that HV is. And, and how am I going to use this? I'll probably use HV because we'll get into uh, taking care of the fuel system and the battery uh, and why you want to use HV uh, from time to time, at least from time to time. And, and for me, I'll probably use it as my primary mode. If you press HV again, it goes back to EV mode. Press it again, it's off. Now, this is, uh, this is a, another uh, technique or I guess... Well, they call it charge mode, okay? But uh, the Prius Prime, unlike other electric vehicles, uh, uh, because you do have the gasoline engine and everything, and I can't imagine why you want to do this, because anytime you're converting uh, from one energy uh, form, which is gasoline, to electric, or converting from electric uh, to some other uh, chemical uh, process or whatever, um, you you're going to lose uh, uh, energy in that process. Okay, so what we can do is we can use the gasoline engine on this uh, Toyota Prius Prime to charge the battery. And why would you want to do that? Well, I, I'm not really sure other than if you were in a, a democratic state or a democratic city and they required vehicles to operate in EV mode, which is possible. I've heard that that, yeah, that uh, you, you may have to have that battery charged for some reason. Or uh, in my case, I'm, when I go camping. Okay, uh, and uh, you know, you don't, I, everybody's asleep in the campground, and I want to get in the car and run the style air conditioning because <laughs> I'm hotter than hell and I don't want to stay in my tent. And I'm going to sit in here and read a book, uh, or it's pouring down rain outside, and I just want to sit in here and enjoy the air conditioning. It'd be nice to have that battery charged up because uh, you know, if you're sitting there running the engine, you're bothering everybody, and you're constantly cutting, you know, using those parts. That's why those gasoline engines, those starters go bad, you know, because you're sitting there starting it over and over again, cutting it off, cutting it on, cutting it off. So with this, you know, it'd be nice to have that battery charged. Also, you can use that battery to charge your cell phones. It's a great camping vehicle, by the way. This is going to be a great camping vehicle. And we'll get into all of that. Um, so, uh, yeah, then you can use that battery to charge all kinds of stuff. I mean, good God, it's a huge battery system. And, you know, you could charge a tablet with it or whatever and never start the gasoline engine. You never even have to bother. We had a power outage here uh, uh, years ago. Uh, well, when the hurricane came through back in 9, 2017, and uh, we were without power for five days, and I had neighbors up here, they, they were going to try to get gas from gas stations, of course, without power, the gas stations didn't have any gas, and uh, and they'd sit there and start their doggone cars to try and charge their cell phone, <laughs> wasting all that gas. I'm like, don't you have a, a backup, you know, because I have two uh, backup uh uh, battery systems uh, that I can use to charge my cell phone and plus I have a solar generator that I can use to charge my cell phone now I've got a hybrid car to charge I mean so I, I, I guess some people just are ill prepared for uh, uh, bad bad things but let's let's do it man so all you do is you press the center button and watch this you're gonna hear the engine cut on there it is charge mode boom and the gasoline engine just came on and look at here now you can see that the engine is charging that battery. And that's called charge mode, okay? So, oh, they call it charge mode. That's the charge technique. So you got the HV technique, you got the EV technique, you got the EV auto technique, okay? Your drive modes, you've got the eco mode, you got the normal mode, and you got the power mode. <laughs> Are you confused yet? <laughs> so, hopefully, I think I broke it down so that you can un understand all of that. Um, you know, one last thing. Uh, we're going to take this around the block. Uh, I got to get the seatbelt on here because it's going to bing, 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 bing at me. And I hate that shit. You know, if I don't want to wear my damn seatbelt, I shouldn't have to wear, wear a seatbelt. But... Uh, you know, so if we just drive around the neighborhood in this, uh, we're in eco mode and charge mode. Um, it's gonna it's gonna run that engine and, and charge it. And by the way, this is fuel. This is not very efficient, okay? Because we're taking gasoline and we're converting it into an electrical power source, which is that battery. Um, so you know, I would use this uh, at a minimum. Uh, only when you when you've got something in your brain going, I'm gonna need that battery at 80% charge. For whatever reason, I don't I don't know why you would need that because you can always operate in hybrid mode if the battery doesn't have much charge on it. Um, so, but but it is nice. It is nice. I'm sure there's a, there's going to be reasons like in my case uh, to have that battery charged up for charging devices. All right. 
Um, so let's cut that off. Now, by the way, you just press the button and watch the charge mode. It goes back to EV mode. Okay, so remember EV Auto? There's EV Auto, EV mode. Charge, there's high HV mode, EV mode. So everything goes back to EV mode. Let's put it in, uh, we're holding it in. We're going to charge mode. Hit it again, back to EV mode. So you can see that uh, Toyota really <laughs> wants you using that electric uh, battery uh, over anything else. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna put it, you can hear the engine. It's, it's Well, right now we're on battery. Okay, I'm gonna put it in hybrid mode. Uh, you know, you see right here, and uh, let's take off. Let me get my doggone seat belt on once, and uh, let's let's watch this as we drive in hybrid mode. So let's take off. Whoop. There we go. We are in drive mode. So let's just watch it. That's pretty cool too. I I, I like this. Uh, we'll get into all of the other features of the car, um, but uh, you're gonna see the uh, the engine kick on here in, in HV mode. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that acceleration. There you go. Look at that. Now the engine's kicking in because I gave it a bit of acceleration. Now it's gone back to the battery. Um, so you're you're using this technique. Is this is the uh, Toyota Prius technique? Is that what I want to call it? Um, because you're using a combination. Hit that accelerator between the gas and the electric. Okay. So now let's go to. Uh, Let's go to EV mode. Just press that button. Now I'm in EV mode. If you see up here, now let's let's watch the screen. Okay, so we're just operating on the battery. We're in eco mode. Okay, now you you felt. I mean, you kind of maybe you felt or saw that well, you felt. You couldn't feel it, but I mean, the acceleration was pretty doggone good. Well, we got an old person here that's doing something. Let me go this way. Part of uh, living in a retirement neighborhood. But let's hit the, that accelerator. Now you hear that? You don't hear that engine kicking in, and you notice it stayed on battery, even though I floored it, okay? But, I mean, come on, man. That was good acceleration. I mean, what? why do you need uh, uh, um, the uh, anything but eco mode, you know? or I mean, normal, you're probably a little bit better, but you know what? Hey, let's just check, check out. So we're in eco mode right now. Man, I tell you, a lot of traffic <laughs> around the neighborhood when I'm trying to show you stuff. Uh, let's just go back... Uh, the other way we're gonna we're gonna try power mode and I'm just gonna want to show you what that looks like uh, with the electric engine let me get down here on the turn so look I'm, I'm really hitting that accelerator it's staying on the battery right so let's try let's try well let's go EV auto let's just check it out so I'm gonna hit EV auto and then we're gonna we're gonna punch it and see what happens so there, there's EV mode I'm gonna hit EV auto Okay, let's watch what happens. So here's EV Auto. Now I got it floored. It's staying on the battery. It's staying on the battery. Okay. So I don't, well, I don't know what the green means. Oh yeah, there you go. So now it's kicking in with the. Uh, I guess that means gasoline. It's showing the coming from the gasoline engine. So that's your EV Auto. Now let's go to power mode. Woohoo! I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in hybrid. We're gonna bring it up. There's normal. And there's power mode, and uh, let's hit this puppy. I can't. I can't wait to see. I'm just gonna go. It's gonna go right down the block. Boy, listen to that power! Woohoo! Boy, freaking the old people out! Whoa! Yeah. Hey, you know that'd be pretty good for merging into traffic. So that was power mode in in the hybrid uh, or HV, and. Uh, well, I guess we got to try it <laughs> with the electric. So let's just do that real quick. We'll, we'll come around the turn here. I got a little bit of a straightaway. Hopefully there won't be a car coming. Right now, uh, we're using, uh, we're in power mode. So I'm going to go to uh, EV. So we're in EV. Let's see what power mode does with EV. Whoa, man, I, I'm feeling, I'm rocking back in the seat. That's pretty damn good just on the electric alone and you notice it stayed well it looks like it might be coming no it's coming from just the electric there all right so uh there you go that's it for this video um i i, I hope 
hope you enjoyed it i had fun making it <laughs> i hadn't really taken this thing out and done of course the neighborhood watch there might arrest me <laughs> there's probably somebody calling into the front gate right now going there's some idiot around here just flooring his car driving around the neighborhood oh my god stop him stop him now <laughs> so i only got a score of 63 good study driving Ooh, maintain speed for better eco driving ending that's my synopsis after I scared everybody in the neighborhood. Peace out, guys, and happy 4th of July.